Hello students, in today's video we are going to study the topic regulation of receptors. Now this video is 14th in the series of videos on pharmacodynamics. Now regulation of receptors is a homeostatic increase or decrease in the number and activity of receptors as per the requirement of body. Now receptors remain in dynamic state and they keep changing in terms of number or density of receptors and they also change in terms of sensitivity of receptors. That means number of receptors keep changing. Number of receptors can increase or can decrease. Similarly, sensitivity of receptors to a particular uh, neurotransmitter or to a particular hormone can increase or decrease depending upon the requirement. Now, this change depends on ongoing activity in the body cells or the tissues. This change also depends upon the feedback mechanism and also on the physiopathological conditions of the body. Now, let's understand regulation of receptors with the help of an example. Now, as we all know, estrogen is a hormone that contracts myometrium, that is smooth muscles of the wall of the uterus, contracting uterus as a whole necessary for the process of childbirth. Now, beginning with the third trimester of pregnancy and as the pregnancy progresses, estrogen increases density or number of oxytocin receptors in the myometrium of the uterus. So, there is increase in the number of receptors because of the pregnancy. Sensitivity of oxytocin receptors also increase. Sensitivity of receptors also increase to the contractile action of oxytocin, especially near the term, so that the uterus contracts powerfully and it is responsible for the initiation of labor. Thus, as per the requirement, there is increase in the number of receptors and this increase in the number of receptors is responsible for increasing the contractile response of the uterus necessary for the process of childbirth. Now, regulation of receptors involve two main phenomena. One is the down regulation of receptors and other is the up regulation of receptors. Now, let's first understand down regulation of receptors. Now, as we all know, agonist is an endogenous substance or a drug that binds to a receptor, activate or stimulate the receptor and produce the pharmacological action. Now, chronic use or the long term use of agonist and thus continued receptor stimulation results in down regulation of receptors. Now, down regulation of receptors is defined as a decrease in the total number of receptors on a target cell or a tissue due to long term use of agonist. Now, look at this uh, figure. It explains the phenomenon of down regulation of receptors. This is a target cell shown here in the yellow color. Let's say it is a bronchial smooth muscle and these are the receptors present on the cell. Now, these receptors, let's say, are beta 2 receptors and this is the agonist. Let's say the agonist is a salbutamol. So, this agonist that is salbutamol, it stimulates beta 2 receptors that causes relaxation of smooth muscles leading to bronchodilation that is dilation of bronchi. So, salbutamol is a drug of choice for the treatment of asthma. Now, let's say, uh, now let's see that continued or chronic use of salbutamol results in continued exposure to the agonist salbutamol and continued stimulation of these beta 2 receptors. And this results in the down regulation of the beta 2 receptors as is uh, clear from the diagram that uh, the number of beta 2 receptors has reduced and since the number of beta 2 uh, receptors has uh, reduced and uh, now less number of uh, salbutamol molecules bind to the receptors and therefore the response of the drug has reduced. Now over a period of time the response of the drug will further reduce and the dose of the drug which was effective earlier will now become ineffective as the number of receptors has further reduced and this drug 
goes waste as no receptors are available for the, these drug molecules to bind and to produce the response. So this causes further fall in the response and the development of tolerance. Now tolerance refers to the decreased effect of drug over time. Now down regulation of the receptors is caused because of uh, three main reasons. Now first is the chronic use of agonist cause internalization of receptors. Look at this figure. See the uh, structure of the uh, receptors here. Now there is movement of receptors from the plasma membrane to the inside of cell. See here the difference, difference in the structure of the receptors. The receptors move inside the cell. This is called as the internalization of receptors and internalization makes the receptors less responsive or less sensitive and further internalization causes degradation or destruction of the receptors so that the number of receptors reduce and further chronic use of agonist also decreases synthesis of receptors. So overall this results in the reduced number of receptors or overall it results in the down regulation of receptors. Uh, so finally down regulation leads to uh, reduced sensitivity of receptors to the agonist that is receptor desensitization and this leads to gradual fall in the pharmacological response of the drug that is reduced response and the drug tolerance. Now look at this figure. This ex figure explains the phenomenon of desensitization and the fall in the response. On the x-axis is the constant dose of agonist that is 10 microgram and on the y-axis we have plotted the response. Now initially 10 microgram of the agonist produces this much of the response. But over a period of time due to the continued use of uh, uh, agonist 10 microgram and produces only this much response and over a period of time when the use of agonist is, fill, is still continued the response reduces to this much. So this is how chronic use of agonist leads to receptor desensitization and fall in the response. Uh, so as uh, discussed earlier Continued use of salbutamol in bronchial asthma makes salbutamol ineffective and thus to produce a desired bronchodilation either dose of drug is to be increased or drug has to be changed. Another example is of levodopa in Parkinsonism. Now continued use of levodopa in Parkinsonism makes levodopa ineffective and increasing the dose of levodopa increases the side effect. So chronic use or long term use of agonist decreases therapeutic effect of drug and can result in the development of tolerance. Now after discussing uh, down regulation of receptors, let's discuss the phenomenon of up regulation of receptors that is increase in the number of receptors. Now chronic use of antagonist or prolonged deprivation of agonist leads to proliferation or upregulation of receptors that is increase in the number of receptors. So prolonged use of antagonist or prolonged non-availability of agonist increases number of receptors in the tissue and the phenomenon is termed as upregulation of receptors. Uh, now look at this figure. Antagonist binds to the receptors. Antagonist does not activate the receptors and thus no response is produced. Now chronic use of antagonist make the target cells inactive for a long period of time. This can lead uh, to number of effects. Now first uh, this results in the increase in the number of receptors. So there is increase in the number of receptors uh, that is termed as upregulation of receptors. Secondly, a long term use of antagonist or long term unavailability of agonist uh, causes unmasking of receptors. Some receptors are inactivated by masking proteins. So removal of masking proteins increases the sensitivity and activity of receptors. So unmasking of receptors leads to signal amplification, increased sensitivity and therefore increased response of the receptors. Now third, prolonged use of antagonist cause externalization of receptors. Look at this figure. The receptors, they move towards the surface of the cell 
increasing their sensitivity. Now, apart from this, all these factors lead to increased sensitivity of receptors and their ability to produce increased response. Uh, now, let's understand upregulation of uh, receptors with an example of uh, beta blocker that is a propranolol in angina pectoris. Now, in angina pectoris, there is reduced availability of oxygen to the myocardium. So, beta blockers, they block beta 1 receptor of myocardium, reducing heart rate, reducing force of contraction of cardiac muscles, thereby reducing workload of heart so that myocardium requires less oxygen. Now, chronic use of propranolol causes upregulation of beta 1 receptors in the myocardium. So, chronic use of propranolol causes upregulation of beta 1 receptors in the myocardium. Now, if this propranolol is suddenly withdrawn, let's see what happens. Sudden withdrawal of propranolol can exacerbate response of adrenaline and noradrenaline. Adrenaline and noradrenaline are adrenergic endogenous neurotransmitters or agonist. So, sudden withdrawal of propranolol can exacerbate response to endogenous neurotransmitters, adrenaline and noradrenaline. That causes excessively high rates of heart rate, excessively increase in the force of contraction of cardiac muscles, precipitating acute myocardial infarction. So, antagonist should be withdrawn gradually to prevent exacerbative response to agonist. So, this is in brief on the concept of regulation of receptors, phenomenon of downregulation and upregulation of receptors. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.